In this lesson, we want to show uh, an alternative technique that we can use to clear a document. And for this, the first step will be to create the invoice uh, and then we will assume that the customer has paid uh, in full using cash. Uh, therefore, we will post the payment and at the same time, we will clear the invoice. So well, let's switch to the account receivable group of apps and let's start the create a going invoices app. And of course, we need to uh, start with the customer ID. Let's just enter the ID. And for uh, the invoice date, let's select uh, today's date. The same for posting date. Now, the amount we want this amount uh, for this invoice to be 200 and 20,000 euros and we will consider a 10% output tax so the tax code is fine let's just click calculate tax <laughs> now uh, we want to su switch to the payments tab just to double check the baseline date which should be today and for the payment terms actually this is the most important thing now because we want to select uh, payment terms that will grant the customer a 3% discount if the customer pays um, in the first uh, days, uh, in the first 14 days actually. So as you can see, the, the one that we can use, it's uh, it has the ID 0003, which again, it's a payment within 14 days, you get, the customer will get a 2% discount. If you pay from day 15 to day 20, you get a 2% discount and within 30 days it's due net. So let's select that one. And now, uh, well, let's just uh, complete the data for the document. So let's enter the GL account, which is uh, well, the one for sales revenues, uh, domestic, for domestic sales. And we'll um, just uh, use the um, doc amount in document currency for uh, 220,000 euros. And now let's just look for the profit center field to assign these revenues uh, to profit center T dash PCA 15. Okay. Now that we have entered all this uh, the data for the invoice, let's just click post. Of course, the system will just uh, show up an, a warning message saying that the terms of payment have changed, which is fine. So let's just uh, accept the warning message uh, pressing the enter key. And now we have a the document that uh, was posted, the, I, the document number that was posted for this invoice in company code, uh, SETI company code. So that is perfect. Uh, that is exactly what we wanted. So let's just uh, quit this app. And uh, with this, we have finished the lesson, uh, just inviting you to keep learning with the next one, in which we will enter the incoming payment and clear the invoice at the same time.